Hey there After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to extrude some text with the Cinema 4D renderer. Okay, so I've got an example here. So let's recreate that. So if I just jump over, stop that. I've got a new composition and I've just added the word text. Okay, a simple text layer. Okay, so I want to make this layer 3D because if I open this, you'll notice... In the text, we've got uh, these options here. Once I make this 3D, okay, we've got more options. We've got material options, but we see this geometry options, okay, that's greyed out. So if I go over to renderer, over here, or here, renderer, and change that from classic 3D, which is the default setting, over to cinema 4D, okay, now we can actually change those geometry options okay and just in the options for the renderer itself i'm just going to have that on draft okay later on i can increase the quality uh, for a final render but for working it's faster to have it on say draft quality okay so i'm just going to hit okay so i'm going to rotate this a little so we can see that it's just 2D text and in the geometry options for the extrusion depth if I increase that you see it starts to extrude the text but it doesn't look great because we've got no kind of definition here on the edges all right so I could add a bevel style let's say maybe concave that helps but what really brings this to life is by adding a light. So I'll do a new light. I'll have cast shadows on. Okay, point light's fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into my custom view. Very handy. And I can move this light. I'll use my selection tool. I can move the light into a better place. And I maybe have the light higher and move it up. There we go. So it's, it's looking down on the text. Just get it into a good spot. Maybe a bit further back. There we go. That's starting to look good. Okay, that seems fine. So I'll go back to my active camera. So we've now got some nice definition on the text and maybe I might even increase the light intensity a little. Just brighten it up. Okay. But I want to texturize the text a little. So to do that, I'm going to create an environment layer. So I'm going to do a new solid. Okay. And I'll just call this uh, texture. Okay, and on this, I go to my effects and presets, and I'm going to add turbulent noise. So I'll find the turbulent noise. There it is. Drop that on there. And I want something nice and contrasty and bumpy. So maybe I'll change this to small bumps. Okay, uh, increase the brightness, but also really increase the contrast. So I might increase the complexity a little just uh, just playing about really might take the scale down give my nice bumpy texture and then on that I may add some curves just to give me uh, a little more contrast on that so I'll just do that and I'll take that higher now Okay, so I'll pre-compose this. I'll call it environment. So I'll move everything inside the com composition. Hit OK. And then I'm going to select this layer and go to layer and make it an environment layer. Okay, then I, in the text options, I'll go to the material options. Okay and increase the reflection intensity okay there you go 
So you can see what that's doing now is it's adding reflections. I might also increase the uh, specular intensity to brighten it up. And then we have now go to here, go to my text layer, but I'm going to take that around. You can see we've got reflections of that layer in the text, which is just adding a nice level of texture to it. Okay, and there's lots of ways you can play about with that and the lights just to get it looking perfect. Okay. So that's just a nice way. And then finally, I can go into my options and I can take the, let's just put it onto typical. Okay. And you'll see it'll look smoother. Okay. So we've got a nicer render. Okay. It'll take longer to export, but you'll get a better result. So thanks for watching.